Do sinners enjoy life more? Are sinners happier people? Are disbelievers or people that have rejected Allah Azawajal's calls, are they people that live happier lives? Are Muslims really miserable? Are Muslims living in the worst possible lives? Let's analyze the way the world is. If you take a look at the world around you and how people are living, you will find the highest suicide rates in the world are amongst disbelievers. The highest suicide rates around the world are amongst people that have rejected the call of God. So if they're so happy, then why would they take their own lives? Happiness does not mean I have more money. Happiness is not measured by position and status. Happiness has a different measurement altogether. Because I may have money as the source of happiness, but do you remember the email that they used to send around that they say money could buy you a bed, but it can't buy you sleep. Money can buy you a watch, but it can't buy you time. Money can buy you a book, but it can't buy you knowledge. Money can buy you a position, but it cannot buy you respect. Money can buy you medicine, but it cannot buy you health. So it doesn't necessarily give you happiness. However, let's say I have all these things. If you take a look, the most followed people on Instagram, the most followed people on Twitter, the most sought after people, celebrities. Why do they live such miserable lives? Why are they all on drugs and alcohol, substance abuse? You hear one person OD'd after the other. The most, the, the infamous 27 club. People that died at the age of 27. 27, the brightest moments of their lives and they take their own lives. They're in their lives, they're so miserable. Why are they so miserable? Because happiness comes from belief in Allah. Sojourn. When you are in acceptance or you are pleased with what Allah has given you as provision in this world, then you are happy regardless of the situation you are in. You could be living like Nabi Sulaiman as a king and a prophet and you would be happy. And you could be in a situation like Abu Abdullah al Hussein alayhi salam being massacred with your entire family. Thirsty and still say that I am pleased with what Allah has done with me, or pleased with what Allah has given me. And still be in the state of acceptance and happiness. Because the real relationship with happiness or having happiness comes with the hereafter this world is transient and if you know that you will be compensated for your life here for what you've put up with here then the whole time you're going to be happy so you come in you know that the pay packet is at the end of the the whole uh, work day or the time that you're here and you know you will be paid very well, very handsomely, you're happy about what you're doing. In the end, I'm going to finish and I will be successful. So you have this happiness. But even if you're a multi-billionaire and you could feel that time is against you and it's coming to an end, that eventually I will die and I will come to account for everything I've done, you don't sleep well at night. You know, you've heard the saying, when someone commits crimes or a murderer or rapist, people say, how does he sleep at night? Because these people don't sleep well at night. Their crimes haunt them. If you watch any documentaries when they show killers, and they tell you they see their victims in nightmares, their life haunts them. The bad life that they have lived as haunts, it haunts them forever. Where is the one that 
sleeps and they are righteous and they don't owe people money they don't harm others they sleep comfortably they sleep well they don't need to be sleeping on a ten thousand dollar mattress they could be sleeping on a mat on the floor and they're still happy and they're more comfortable in their sleep than the one that has blood on their hands than the one that has committed crime than the one that earns a dirty dollar than the one that has to look over their shoulder for the rest of their life happiness comes with the acceptance and pleasure from what Allah has provided you for everyone else there is drugs and alcohol.